the most amazing technical wonder in the Quran. Is the wall built from iron and copper or lead? Allah's Quran 1892-97 then followed he another way until when he had reached the track between two mountains he found beneath them a people who scarcely understood a word. They said, O Sur Karnain, the Gargan Magu people do great mischief on earth. Shall we then render thee tribute in order that thou might direct a barrier between us and them? He said, The power in which my Lord established me is better than tribute. Help me therefore with strength and labor, I will erect a strong barrier between you and them. Bring me blocks of iron. At length, when he had filled up the space between the two mountain sides, he said, Blow with your bellows. Then, when he had made it red as fire, he said, Bring me, that I may pour over it molten leaf. Thus were they made powerless to scale it or to dig through it. Properties of Iron One cubic meter weighs well over 7,800 kilograms or 7,8 metric tons. On the color chart when heating up the material, red indicates a temperature of over 800 Celsius. Water evaporates at 100 degrees Celsius. Without protective gear, no worker could even get near such a work to work on it. If one assumes the wall being 25 to 27 meters wide at the base 1.5 meters deep and 3 meters tall, how much material would one need? First row, 293 tons. Second row, 203 tons. Third row, 158 tons. Grand total, 654 tons of iron. 654 tons of iron would one need to build such a wall, spanning just 25 to 27 meters. Built at the time before, when asked by Alexander the Greatest to select a gift, King Boris is said to have chosen instead of gold or silver, 30 pounds of steel. And there you have it, folks. The wall cannot be found on the planet because humans of the past never had the means to build it in the first place. As one blacksmith by trade, and having worked as a steel construction worker, for many years I know of course the requirements to heat up any metal, especially iron or steel in open space. That red on the color chart starts at 500 degrees Celsius and at the high end is over 800 degrees Celsius. To heat up any wall, the size of my calculation example, one needs any tool which would be similar to an oxy fuel welding torch, a tool which normally is used to weld metals. But it can be used to heat up sheet metal too. The reason to use such tool, in my example is, the need after the wall, was heated up to red hot, the workers poured molten copper, over it. In a such a situation one cannot wait for, all the ashes to be removed, besides the hot temperatures, would not allow people to get near the wall. Once more only you need to love the welding torch, would be able to heat up the wall, and still allow any room of movement, for anybody working near it. Here are some images, to show the tools needed. For more information I direct the watcher to the Wikipedia entry, link is in the description box below. Now after having dealt with the question about the amount of material needed to build any wall of this kind, what follows is the question about the location of the wall. The clip has no sound so that the viewer can focus on the images 